Okay, time for another chapter of Die With Zero, getting the most from your life from Bill Perkins. So now we're on a very controversial chapter called, What About the Kids? Because most people, when they're thinking about who they are going to leave their money to, they are going to leave it to their children. And a lot of reason why people won't spend down to zero or keep saving is because they want to pass that along to them. And so I thought this was very interesting. He goes, okay, what do you think the average age is when someone actually gets the inheritance? Uh, according to the Federal Reserve, it is 60 years old. So when you think about how you're going to change the trajectory of your children's life through, a do through gifting them some money, um, it's not likely to radically change their world at 60 years old. They found that the optimum age to be donating money to your kids is 25 to 36 years old because this is when they are launching into life. This is when they have the opportunity to possibly buy a first home, start building equity and wealth through real estate. It is when they are um, deciding if they're going to, you know, get a master's degree or whatever they're doing in their education world, uh, maybe moving to a new place, all these kinds of things that set the, tr the true trajectory probably for the rest of their life that sets them on the path that most parents wish for their kids. So this book is talking about the fact that if you really want to be caring, you need to be more intentional about when you give that money. And I know for a lot of people, it's still a bit scary for them to start, you know, giving their kids $100,000 toward a purchase of a house when their parents are, you know, about to retire. But he's like, that is a much more, if you can plan for it, um, it is going to be a much more caring way to actually help your kids. Uh, he goes, he talks about the three R's. Uh, if you don't know when you'll die and you care so much about your kids, why do you wait until that random date for your offspring to get what you want them to have? What makes you so sure that all of your kids will actually outlive you? So you're leaving a lot to chance. And again, people that are saving for retirement don't like chance. We like to control things, right? Um, so he says, you don't want to give random amounts of money at a random time to random people. And what I find interesting is a lot of times when I'm talking to people that have been in their house for 55 years, and I, they, they actually sometimes their children have passed on, and I'm like, who are you going to leave the, this house to? And they were like, well, I guess I'll just have to leave it to one of my nieces or nephews. Now, it'd be interesting to wind back the clock and ask them if that niece or nephew was somebody that they would prefer to have the money than their own kid, uh, than their own, uh, years and years before. So that just sort of reinforces what he's saying. So it does talk about how to think about this, and of course, talking about talking to your financial planner. So I think that this is one of the, one of the best chapters in this because this is a very common objection and it makes you really put your money where your mouth is. If you do intend to leave money to your kids, what is the more loving way to do it, which is when they need it the most and it can really benefit them the most. All right, see you next chapter.